Skid is a, a very severe condition. Uh, it's an inherited uh, condition, and it affects uh, children uh, from from the early as soon as they're born. So these children are born without any immune systems. So uh, common coughs and colds that all of us uh, encounter and we can shrug off or fight without any problems, these children have real problems with. They don't have an immune system, and so they can't fight these uh, infections, and a lot of these children will die within the first uh, year of life. What we've done uh, over the uh, last 10 years is treated two conditions, and these are both, uh, these two conditions are being reported uh, in science translational medicine. So they are both forms of skid, but there's two different genes that have been uh, affected. And what we've done over the last uh, 10 years is in one study we've treated 10 children, and in another study we've treated 6 children. And out of those 16 children in total, 14 children, 14 of the 16, have been able to develop a healthy functioning immune system as a result of that gene therapy uh, procedure. Now, the important things here are that none of those children have died as a result of the gene therapy procedure. Now, if we'd done a bone marrow transplant using uh, a not very well matched donor or mismatched donor as we call it, then we would expect two, three, four of those children to have died as a result of the procedure. But in this case, all of the children have survived. And 14 out of those 16 have been able to repair their immune systems such that they can now go on and live uh, normal uh, lives without any social restrictions. So these children are uh, going to school, they're attending parties, they're doing everything that other children would uh, normally be able to do. So they're leading fully functional lives. So gene therapy is the first successful trials of gene therapy were really were conducted in uh, 1999. That was the first time gene therapy had been shown to be successful. So we only really have a decade of experience with successful gene therapy. So these are really amongst just a handful of studies uh, that have been successful, that have showed that gene therapy can be uh, curative, that can cause a cure for these diseases. So I think that's why it's exciting. So here we have not only just one condition, we've got two conditions, we've got 14 children, and they've been followed up in one, in one study for over 10 years, and in another study for over eight years, showing that gene therapy can be both successful and long-lasting. At the moment, all gene therapy is very carefully regulated. Uh, by national ethics bodies and, and regulators, uh, etc. But I think what we can hope to do over the next few years is to show that gene therapy offers a very viable alternative to a bone marrow transplant and that we can use gene therapy as an alternative when we can't find uh, a good donor. So it's another option that can be used for these children. I think that's where it's very important for families and, uh, and children with these conditions because it offers them something different. Often when we uh, are looking, when we have these individuals and we can't find a donor, we, we say, well, we have to use a, a donor that is not a, a, a good match and that might be problematic and your child might not be able to make it through the procedure. But now we can say to them, actually, we have another option. We've got gene therapy and we think this will also be successful and safe in correcting the disease in your child. As we've shown in these, um, uh, in these studies, gene therapy has been very safe. Unfortunately, in one study, a child did develop a leukemia, and that is as a result of the way we put the gene into those cells. So we know that although it has been very successful, there is the potential for some side effects as a result of this uh, procedure. So what we're doing now is we're changing the way we put the gene into the child cells, and we've now actually started new studies that are following on from this, which we hope will be equally effective, uh, but will be safer as well. And so once we get through those, then I think we'll be able to show that it really has very good safety profiles as well as uh, e effectiveness. And we can say that this is something else, an alternative uh, treatment that we can use uh, for these children. And so we hope that gene therapy will now be used to treat a whole range of conditions, not just uh, a few isolated uh, immune deficiencies.